Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new GoZ Plus plugin, which enhances the workflow of ZBrush users by allowing for quick and efficient back and forth transfers of meshes between ZBrush and both iClone and Character Creator. This plugin is an essential tool for any artist or developer using ZBrush in their production pipeline. Let's first take a brief look at the workflow for the legacy GoZ plugin. A single click in Character Creator will export your mesh to ZBrush for detailed custom modeling. You can then utilize the powerful modeling tools in ZBrush for everything from simple edits to more intricate and detailed modifications. However, the traditional GoZ workflow only allows for mesh shaping edits. Any sculpting detail or polypaint workflow previously required manual baking of the normal and diffuse maps. The GoZ button is then used to export the newly refined mesh back to CC. That's the basic workflow for the legacy GoZ plugin. Now let's explore the updated workflow with the new GoZ Plus plugin. First, you'll want to ensure that you've updated Character Creator to version 4.42 or higher via Reillusion Hub, which will ensure that your plugin is automatically upgraded to GoZ Plus. When using the updated GoZ Plus feature for the first time, you'll be prompted to select the version of ZBrush you're using. Upon confirmation, the GoZ Plus plugin will then be automatically installed to your ZBrush, and you'll see a GoZ setting panel pop up. Note that there are now a few more options in the latest update, including normal and diffuse checkboxes, which will now transfer those respective textures over. In ZBrush, your diffuse texture will be converted into polypaint, while the normal texture will be converted into a displacement map, ultimately allowing for the editing of mesh details. If we want to use this shield model for a real-time game or animation project, generally we want to maintain a low poly count. The best way to achieve this is to use multiple levels of subdivision, which you can define in the GoZ settings panel upon export. The subdiv option here corresponds with the subdivide mesh function in ZBrush. Defining a level of 5 here will result in 5 levels of subdivision in ZBrush. You'll see the total number of polygons displayed based on the level of subdivision that you choose. You'll also see a smooth option which corresponds to the subdivide smooth modifier in ZBrush. Checking this will ensure that the surface of the subdivided mesh will be smooth, which is particularly useful for soft objects like cloth. However, it's important to note that this may also alter the basic shape of your model. In the case of a rigid body mesh with a more angular shape like this shield, we probably don't need this option. Let's hit Go Z to begin the transfer, after which you'll see our model in ZBrush with the subdivision level of 7 which we defined earlier. The diffuse texture in Character Creator has also been converted to polypaint for texture editing in ZBrush. Lastly, you'll see that the normal map has been converted into an editable mesh, the details of which have been baked to a new layer as we can see here. If for some reason you want even more levels of subdivision, you can add them manually. From there, you can add another layer and do some detailed sculpting like I'm doing here. Once finished, Disable recording mode and move on to the texture painting via polypaint. Once we're satisfied, we can expand the CC Go Z tab in the Z plugin panel. Here we can see the two additional options we discussed earlier one for polypaint diffuse and the other for details normal. Disabling these will only utilize classic Go Z functionality by simply updating the shape of the mesh without any diffuse or displacement updates. However, enabling both of them before hitting GoZ for transfer will ensure that both the polypaint edits and highest subdivision level of mesh details will be baked into the diffuse and normal maps respectively, at the selected texture size. Back in Character Creator, the GoZ options window will indicate that it has detected the same mesh and default to the update. You can see the target mesh listed and ensure that texture is checked along with the desired resolution to transfer the diffuse and normal maps over. Here we have the updated model, complete with all of the mesh and material edits that we made in ZBrush. A couple of final tips. 
If ZBrush crashes while transferring the model and you click on the Go Z Plus button to resend the model, you'll get a pop-up window which will prevent the transfer. To fix this, you'll need to manually open up ZBrush and click on the Ready for Go Z button. After that, you should be able to transfer successfully. That's it for this basic intro to the updated GoZ Plus plugin. This powerful feature is essential for any workflow that involves ZBrush and Reillusion products, providing a much more efficient way to edit and update your meshes and materials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.